the Zodiac is the one that got away. In the late 1960s, a serial killer operated in Northern California for 10 months, sending a series of confessional letters to police and the press until 1974. These letters were signed Zodiac and included symbols and four intriguing ciphers codes, three of which have never been solved. While the Zodiac letters eventually claimed responsibility for a total of 37 murders, police investigators officially recognized only seven victims attributed to the Zodiac killer, two of whom survived. Following investigation, police added a further five crimes between 1963 and 1970 to the suspected Zodiac victims list. Over 2,500 potential suspects were investigated and a few stood out, but the forensic technology of the time was not yet advanced enough to accuse them conclusively. The case of the Zodiac killer was never solved and remains open. There are five murders connected to the Zodiac killer, although he claimed in communications he had killed as many as 37 people. His confirmed victims include David Arthur Faraday and Betty Lou Jensen, Cecilia Ann Shepard, Paul Lee Stein, and Darlene Elizabeth Ferrin. The Zodiac was known to target couples, attacking three separate young pairs in his killing spree, although two of the male victims survived. In 1969, after his second attack, the Zodiac called the police to report the crime himself and to claim responsibility for a previous double homicide. Who is San Francisco's Zodiac killer? Though the Zodiac was never caught and the official investigation remains open, public interest has remained high. Countless theories have gained traction over the years, pointing the finger at various men who share physical markers or specific interests with the famed killer. The identity of the Zodiac killer has never been confirmed by law enforcement, though several suspects have been identified over the years. The seemingly random, brutal murders of five people in California's Bay Area in 1968 and 1969 and a series of taunting, cryptic notes sent by their killer terrorized Northern California for years. The self-proclaimed Zodiac killer sent local newspapers a three-part coded message explaining his motive for the killings in 1969 and in a separate letter to the editor suggested his identity was buried within an elaborate cipher message. The decoded message did indeed reveal the killer's twisted motive but his identity remains a mystery. On 4 August 1969 another letter was received by the San Francisco Examiner newspaper in which the author began Dear editor, this is the Zodiac speaking. The press and the police pounced on the name. The reign of the Zodiac killer had begun. Californian code experts Donald and Betty Harden cracked the code, except for the last string of 18 letters on 80 August 1969, a week after the cipher had been sent with the first letters. Disappointingly, the cipher did not contain the Zodiac's identity, as he had promised, but instead an explanation of why he killed. The decoded cipher read, with original misspellings, I like killing people because it is so much fun. It is more fun than killing wild game in the forest because man is the most dangerous animal of all to kill something. Gives me the most thrilling experience. It is even better than getting your rocks off with a girl. The best part of it is that when I die, I will be reborn in paradise and all the I have killed will become my slaves. I will not give you my name because you will try to slow down or stop my collecting of slaves for my afterlife, ebe orieti meth piti. The investigation of the Zodiac killer case. Two of the Zodiac's victims managed to survive, giving the police plenty of evidence to go on. Plus, the Zodiac didn't exactly hide from the spotlight. He sent at least 18 letters to both newspapers and private citizens during his murder spree. Despite the amount of available evidence, the police had no luck in discovering the killer's identity during the initial investigation. In 1990, Zodiac murders started again, this time in New York City. Was it the same man or a copycat serial killer? In March 2004, the police marked the case as inactive, then reopened it again in 2008, but to no avail. After years of dormancy, the case gained renewed attention in 2018. Inspired by the successful DNA investigation, 
in the decades-old Golden State Killer case, they say that DNA technology has finally evolved enough to give the police and the victim's families a new hope. There's a chance something could be extracted from the DNA samples that were not considered viable before. For example, flaps of envelopes or stamps that were licked by the Zodiac Killer. Why is the Zodiac so hard to catch? The Zodiac Killer has managed to evade the authorities to this day. Decades have passed since his murder spree and the case still has thousands of potential suspects.